What's up, y'all? This is your boy eBay Predictions. This is going to be my breakdown of Anthony Smith versus Alexander Rakic. Um, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony Smith, bro. Um, I'll read off the stats before I, I give my you know, give my thoughts of uh, Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith comes in 33-14, is the number five light heavyweight in the world. Uh, Rakic is 12-2 uh, and two, the number eight light heavyweight in the world. Smith fights out of Nebraska. Uh, Rakic fights out of Venia, Austria. Smith is 32. Rakic is 28. Uh, Smith is, uh, they say he's 6'4. I don't believe he's 6'4. I think it's a lie. Rakic is, I think, actually 6'. I think Smith is 6'2, but it is what it is. Uh, Smith has a reach of 76. Rakic has this advantage of 78. Notable wins for Smith, uh, Alexander Gusvin, Volkno's Demir, Shogun. I know a lot of people want, um, were saying Rashad Evans. Uh, Shogun was ranked, by the way. Let's not get that straight. Uh, when Shogun was supposed, he was supposed to fight Volkan Ozdemir for that fight night main event, and Smith come, came in as a late replacement. Um, I think, in, in my humble opinion, Shogun can still compete. He can still win. Uh, he is, I think, coming off a win over uh, Minotaur Nogueira, so he, he can still win. Uh, Rakic, uh, most notable wins are Jimmy Manoa, Devin Clark, and uh, Justin Ledette. Uh, their most recent losses, uh, Smith just lost to uh, Glover Teixeira in brutal fashion. It was a beatdown of the century. Uh, Glover looked amazing in there. He did everything. He didn't do. I, I did pick Glover to win that fight, but he did more than what I think he could do. I, you know, I, just a, an amazing performance on Glover. I, I, in my opinion, one of the one, I think one of the best performances I've seen in a minute out of Glover Teixeira. Uh, Alexander Rakic is coming off a controversial loss to Volkan Ozdemir. I know a lot of people don't doesn't think uh, Volkan lost that fight um, or won that fight. I didn't mean to say lost. But, uh, yeah, you know, th this is an interesting fight. Um, but, yeah, I was going to give you guys my thoughts on Smith, man. I was, uh, I'll say it straight up. I, first fight I ever saw Smith fight was against uh, Rashad Evans on the UFC 225 uh, prelims. I think the early prelims on Fight Pass. Um, I like Smith, man. I thought Smith was a hard worker. He was a, you know... If you've ever if you've ever seen Street Beefs, he was like a Street Beefs guy. I thought you know you you'd probably see him uh, on the on the Street Beefs uh, cage of hell or whatever they call it. Um, but yeah, he reminded me of that kind of guy. You know, I, I didn't think he was like anything uh, special, but to see him you know win against Rashad, against Shogun, and then get matched up against Volkan Ozdemir in the main event that he was supposed to lose, by the way, uh, it was it was kind of crazy I, I was happy for him um you know it's like it, it, to yourself it's like man this guy is a hard worker you know he's a guy that was counted out that wasn't believed in and he's out out here persevering and i heard him talk and he seemed like a decent human being and then he got the john jones fight and i famously picked <laughs> i think i don't know if it's on my youtube channel uh yet or you could probably find it in the archives but i picked uh Smith to beat John. I, I I was like, man, I want to see John lose to a guy like this, a, a, a guy that uh, he's probably underestimating, a guy that should never be in the octagon with a guy like John Jones. Uh, but Smith had said in the buildup, I'm not going to get scared of John Jones. I'm not going to freeze. I'm going to go forward, and I'm going to go uh, go at him and try to, you know, impose my will on him. Uh, he did everything he said he wouldn't. Uh, he froze. He stared at John. And he didn't do anything. Um, do I was still a fan of him. I'll, I'll say it. I was still a fan of him. I was still then. Um, he did disappoint me. I thought he would do more. I thought he would try to go for stuff. But obviously, I, I'm not in there. Um, you know, he has a career. He, he shouldn't try to, you know, suffer a knockout loss just for an opportunity that doesn't seem like a, a, a smart uh, move to make, you know, we shouldn't, I, I don't think I should be mad at him for doing that, but, you know, it is what it is, and then, I think right after that, he, he was talking, well, actually, let's give Smith some credit, I will give him credit, he did take an illegal knee to the face, and, uh, he could have quit in that situation, so he didn't, and he showed his toughness, so I'll give him that, 
but after that, I remember in the press conference, he said, I didn't do that bad against John Jones. You know, I think I did pretty good and this and that and rah, rah, rah. And I was like, oh, my. Like, I, you know, I I, th- I had it, besides I, uh, the point deduction, I had it a clean sweep for John Jones. Maybe you could give the first round to Smith. But I, I and he was saying stuff like, I, I'll, I'll beat John Jones in the jiu-jitsu and John imposed his will, picked him up and slammed him, by the way. Let's not forget that. And um, it was just all over him. But that was a dominant performance from John. John just won the fight. He didn't. He didn't really try. Well, I, I won't say try, but he he did. He just did his thing. Um, but after that, he fights Alexander Gessman. And uh, this is when I started to like dislike Smith. Um, that fight was super close. First of all, let's get that straight. And Alex was on the lead. Um, and I, I remember after the third round, at the end of the third round, he had hit uh, Smith was with a beautiful body kick. And he hurt him, and he took him down. Now, Alex has this problem where he forgets where his roots are from. He's an amateur boxer. His boxing is his forte. But because, you know, he went to Alliance, if you ever remember the Phil Davis story, he, you know, Phil Davis, uh, he lost to Phil Davis, and he went to Alliance to go train with him, and really develop good takedown defense right and it's like it's amazing that when you develop great takedown defense you almost forget that you're you're still not a great you're not a grappler right and he thought he was a grappler and he went for a sloppy head and arm throw and he gave up his back head and arm throw you could it's, it's a judo throw but in wrestling it's called head and arm basically you get this gable grip and you throw and you give your hip out, and you, you try to flip him, basically, right? And uh, he went for that, and he gave up his back, and Smith took advantage. That is called being opportunistic. That is uh, getting a good opportunity, and that is not called dominating somebody and making somebody quit. Like, I've seen this stuff on Twitter. Anthony Smith made Gus Finn quit? Like, like, just think about saying that statement, you know? Uh, but that's when I was like, all right, what are y'all talk? I like Smith, but like, what are y'all talking about? That's when I was saying he just he got he got he got a great opportunity and he took advantage of it, you know. And uh, he's a lethal guy in the ground. That's how we should look at it. But it, and then it, it then it continued. It went all downhill from this, and and then it reached an all time low with Luke Rockhold. And, you know, him and Luke were having some beef and stuff like that, and him going, going back and forth. And nothing wrong with it. If that's your potential opponent, go back and forth. Then Luke fights Juan Blahovic, and Blahovic knocks Luke Rockle the fuck out, right? Good on Blahovic. He was talking mess to Blahovic. Blahovic deserves to brag about that. But then Smith, the guy that didn't do it, decides to brag about about it. And he, he throws shots, and he's just like, um, well, I forgot the quote he said, but he was talking shit. And, you know, his his stance is that, you know, he's a good guy, he's a humble guy, and this and that. He does a whole entire interview with Submission Radio, by the way. Almost like low-key, like, yeah, I told you Luke Rockwell was trash. And almost attacking his performance, saying that, oh, he didn't look good, this and that. Or, it was a pathetic performance. He quit in there, and this and that. And uh, he's just talking shit. Um, but, you know, I just knew it was going to bit him in the ass. You're the guy. That says, oh, you've been doubted so much. Oh, you've been uh, talked down to so much. You guys should respect me. And then you do the exact same thing you don't like that happens to you. You're like, I compare him to that little nerd that got bullied in high school. And then he gets some fucking clout. And then he starts bullying other people. Just a complete hypocrite, right? And then he fights Glover Teixeira. That fight gets announced. And I tell everyone that Glover Teixeira is going to beat him. Glover beats Ian Kultabar. Beats Nikita Kralov. Beats, uh, what's the kid? Carl Robertson, right? Shows that his grappling edge is there. And I thought he was going to submit him. You know what Glover did? He said, fuck that. This guy is a bum. Luke Rockhold said it best. You're not that good, right? And he went out there and dominated him. It was one of the glorious moments that I I take. So, I'm so proud that I predicted that. Uh, I told y'all. And instead of y'all just admitting that fucking 
Smith lost like a man and Glover looked great. And said, y'all made it about the fucking stoppage. Y'all couldn't just let that go. Y'all couldn't just say, oh, Glover was the better guy and this and that. And just admire that Glover was making a comeback, a resurgence. He wasn't supposed to beat Nikita Carl. He wasn't supposed to be an Ian Kultapa. He was supposed to lose to Ian. Go watch that fight, how tough Glover is. You know, to take that spinning back fist, to get dropped and come back and submit Ian. Like, what are you guys talking about, man? So, you know, and all this happens, and now he comes back, uh, losing all his goddamn teeth after Glover murdered him and took his soul, right? I'll give him one thing. The guy's tough, but he's uh, he, he, he's not, like, he doesn't win through adversity, you know? He survives through adversity and hopes the other guy gets tired. Same thing with Vulcan Ozdemir. That was a pretty close fight. I'll give him that. And then Vulcan does the dumb thing and takes him down, and he gave up his back. And it, Smith just took advantage, you know, and and that's all he did. He's not like making a big comeback, you know. He's just being opportunistic after a mistake, you know. Like that's all it is. It's not something that's amazing. We see it all happen all the time in MMA, you know. I don't know why he gets fucking this big praise for it, but you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, uh, like. It doesn't. It doesn't make me mad or anything, Anthony Smith. I, I don't take joy. Well, I I was I was happy that he, I don't want to say I was happy that he got hurt. I was more or less happy that um, it, it made you guys be quiet because you guys were really funny with your jokes about oh Glover Teixeira is gonna get uh, put in a funeral home. Bye bye Glover. R. P. Glover. Uh, you guys were real funny with the jokes, right? But it is what it is. I don't want to doubt. Fucking Smith right now, I, I, he can win this fight. If it was a five-round fight, I think Smith could, like, tough it out. But this is a three-round fight. I think this um, this goes Alexander Rakic's way. I think he's an explosive athlete. I think uh, what his what he did to Jimmy Manuel was fucking insanity. And I'm going to go Alexander Rakic. I hope I'll, I will say one thing. Smith has been humbled. He was a little nice. I did see an interview. He was talking about Luke Rocco going back to the middle. He was a little nicer about it. But... I think he could really lose this fight to Rakic. I'm going to be going Rakic. I think Rakic is better than him all around. I, I think Smith should take him down. But uh, in hope he could do something in that area. But, uh, yeah, Smith is getting wrecked. And, um, yeah, you had a good run, Smith. And uh, it is what it is. But eBay Predictions is out. That's your breakdown for this fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah, you know, it is what it is. All right, see y'all.